Good day, everybody. It's Steve Fitchman speaking, and I'm joined today by Ahmed Hafiz, and we're going to give you an overview of narrative reporting. Just to introduce the tool, it's part of the Oracle Enterprise Performance Management or EPM toolset. In the top right, you can see it being highlighted, uh, very much part of a broader set of capabilities. And I guess just further by way of introduction, um, putting together report packs uh, at the end of the month or end of the quarter or maybe six monthly. Um, every business has to do this. Um, they could be for internal management purposes or for external regulatory reporting purposes. In all cases, the, there's data uh, in tables and charts and then commentary or narrative uh, that comes with that. Uh, there's a need for the internal management team to collaborate and have good security around how that's managed and approval processes, ultimately generating uh, reporting outputs with confidence. That sums up the narrative reporting and Ahmed, I'm going to hand over to you to pick it up from here. Thanks, Steve. So it's important for us to understand where um, the current state for most people without narrative. So for, for EPM users, um, they'll have SmartView. For non-EPM users, they'll be using Excel. Um, this will lead their reporting uh, process mainly. Um, lots of manual checks, lots of validations. Uh, there's a copy of paste type approach going into Word and PowerPoint for, for their, their pack creations. Um, everything's emailed um, or SharePoint based for, for collaborations. It's labor intensive, it's inefficient, and thus it's error prone. I suppose what we get with narrative is the ability um, to combine all of this in a process um, that is secured and governed. Um, we're able to automate population of content. Um, for example, from EPM, there's built-in security and workflow, um, and it follows um, a very stringent process um, in how sort of the, the process is tracked and controlled. Uh, the best part is it's still integrated with Office uh, for all of us that love the Office uh, suite and want to work within there. And you have the ability to work through the web. I suppose in relation to the, the sources that we get with Narrative, um, EPM is, is a clear source um, for narrative reporting, for example, planning, financial consolidation, um, close, uh, and tax reporting. We also get profitability and cost management. We can do direct ERP reporting. We have the ability to connect with S-Space. Um, and it's important as well that you get connectivity with SmartView. Uh, you're able to use that as a source, as well as Excel for, for any source that has, uh, for example, an Excel add-in. But it's important to understand that for um, non-sources, uh, uh, non-source connections, you are able to manually bring in that data um, and um, directly into the pack uh, manually. Now, narrative reporting, um, we see it made up of five key elements. There's the owner um, who's able to track and control the overarching process. We have the authoring phase, the reviewing phase, the sign-off phase, and the distribution. Um, all of this comes together with the ability for us to create, narrate, and collaborate on our packs. Um, and we'll have people that will either consume this information or they'll be contributing to it. So let's first look at the owner um, phase uh, where we'll track and control. So this process starts, for example, with the last pack that I've created. As you see at the top there, we've got this sort of past dues um, because it was sort of the last dates that were set from the last pack creation. I'm able to go through, set this, um, update all my, my target due dates um, for the various uh, steps that are involved. Um, including authoring, um, approving, similarly for reviewing and sign off. And then I'm able to assign users. Now it's important to understand that everything is workflow driven in narrative. So everything that um, all the users that I'm assigning there, they will be getting notified when they need to be doing um, uh, anything um, throughout the pack creation process. Once all of that is complete, I'm able to review it um, and finish that, that process. I'm also able to um, control all of this at a docklet level um, or as part of uh, the pack. You have uh, the ability to set uh, the authors, um, 
um, and the reviewers and approvers at that level as well. So you get a more granular level of control. The, the most important feature in Narrative is the ability to centrally um, update the reporting packs. So here we're able to, at a variable um, change, update all the, the reports to point from, for example, uh, July to August. This in the background has gone and updated all the data directly from the source and has updated the entire pack. Once I've done this, I'm able to preview, make sure everything's exactly as I expect. And from um, an owner tracking phase, I've then got the template ready to go for me to begin the pack creation um, process. So the very first step in that is now going to be the author phase. And here, um, what I'm able to do is start the author phase. And what happens as part of that is the automatic notification comes in via email. I'll get that uh, email sent to me. Um, I'm able to then open up um, Office and through um, the Office add-in directly interact with the solution. Um, <clears throat> it is a checkout, check-in type process. Um, able to review that section of the docklet that I'm assigned. Um, and I'm able to then update. So here I'm updating on um, an EPM uh, report output um, and I'm, I'm, I'm making my comment once I've done that, I'm checking it in. Um, and then the next step from here is to um, submit the change, which will then feed the, the overarching um, pack. Once that step is done, you'll notice that it's then updated that and then the, the, the um, approver then needs to approve um, as the next step. And by that, the authoring phase is marked as, as complete and we're able to then move on to the reviewing phase. Within the reviewing phase, we get interaction between the reviewer and the author. And this enables the reviewer to go through uh, the content that has been created um, and um, create comments along the way if something isn't as expected um, for that interaction process to occur. This, this interaction process is then tracked um, and it's only ever closed uh, once um, the, the reviewer um, is, is happy with, with the feedback that they receive. And everything is tracked in that sort of uh, conversation type view that you're seeing on, on the right hand side. Once that's been, that's been done, this is where the, the reviewer can say, OK, I'm happy with that with that process. I'm going to close the comment. And from there, um, they can then mark the reviewing phase as complete. And that will conclude the, the review, the review process. The next step is the sign off and for, and here this is where we're, we're ultimately doing the, the final steps in the in the pack creation uh, review. Um, <clears throat> here there everything gets locked. No input is able to be made at any point uh, from any person um, that was involved in that creation process. Here we're, we've requested a sign off. The, 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 the sign off can either be a rejection, which case, you know, we can start the, the process again, or we sign it off, give comment, um, and, and we're, we're on to the, the next step. So the final, the final step in the, in the process is to distribute the, the pack to the various users. Now here, um, it, it's a very simple process. You'll, you'll get the option to email the report um, to, to, to the recipients and they'll get the option to either view it in browser mode or to download the report as a PDF. So thank you, Ahmed, for walking us through. Um, certainly, personally, I, I, I love this tool from the perspective of we've been delivering solutions which then seem to always end up with copy paste steps to get it into word or powerpoint so now having something to kind of systemize that is a huge step forward and, and the market adoption and traction here is is growing day by day so thank you for your attendance <laughs>